imagine having that chocolatey, fudgy brownie inside. Now that sounds delicious, now, doesn't it? See, others would have whipped cream on the side or ice cream. Sadly, I do not have that. It's just brownies. But then again, it does really sound good. So the homemade style is where you have all the eggs, butter, flour, vanilla extract, cocoa powder, sugar, salt, all so on. But I made it with the box style, which looks like this, which you'll need a half a tablespoon of water. You do not want too much water. Okay. And then you'll need a half a cup vegetable oil. Canola oil, oil is the same thing, so you can use that. That is what I used. And two eggs. I forgot the eggs, but that's okay. Then, once you have all your ingredients, you'll need to mix them together in this bowl. While you're mixing it, you want to mix it with this, so it's easier to get like the batter from the bottom of the bowl. I did struggle a lot with that, but I did get all the mix. I had a little help from my mom. And then I used a, not 5x5, five five, but a 13x9 pan, which was a lot easier to make over 25 brownies. I think it was 31. And then while you're like mixing all your ingredients, you want to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So by the time you're done mixing all the ingredients, you can put it in the oven. See, you want to put it in the oven for 25 minutes or so. It's a lot easier that way. You don't want it on for an hour. I made that mistake once. <laughs> it was quite funny. <laughs> um, once, once the brownies go off and the timer, you want to get your oven mitts and pull it out of the oven. Make sure it cools overnight for like a few hours. I waited until this morning to get them. And then you want to cut them up evenly. Sadly, I did not do that. I struggled with cutting. So I did not bring a knife because school policy. You don't want to bring buttons to school. And then while making brownies, you don't want too much of the same ingredients or like too much of a certain ingredient like water. You don't want to water it down or salt. You don't want to make it too salty or I don't know if there's such thing as too sweet, but I think it's, there's a chance. So, to have the perfect brownies, you might want to measure it correctly. My friend did mix this up with salt, where they had a cup of salt and not a tablespoon. And it was really salty, but I was being nice and said, Ooh, so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you want a yeah, nice friend way to say something nice. So, if you feel like a downy, eat a brownie. 